Today, let's create the earth using React 3 Fiber. You'll see how simple it is to just add in different components, like this earth model, a nebula, twinkling stars, even a shooting star. Um, so stick around to the end to see how easy that is. Let's get started. Oh, it looks so good, doesn't it? Oh, I guess we'll get started. From here, we've already got our nebula. So I want to add the star field. So I'm going to import star field from star field. And then just, let's just drop it in there and see what happens. I love how easy this is. Oh my God, it's that easy. Wow. This is what's great about React 3 Fiber. I literally just import and drop it in. No configuration needed. Let's texture that icosphere. And let's call this ico ref just ref. And call this Earth Mesh. Change that name there. La la la. This icosahedron geometry is going to have args now. It's radius and the detail. Curly braces. I'm just going to make it slightly bigger like that. More detail. Great. Let's put a texture on that son of a gun. To do that, I want to use the use loader hook const map is equal to use loader here. Instead of color, I'll say map is equal to map. Excuse me, can't see. Can't load this thing though. What if I said dot slash, and then I got the actual name of the file I'm looking for, which is textures slash earth day map 4K. Textures earth day map 4K. Oh, that works. Whoa, it's rotating way too fast. Let's fix the rotation. We only want Y rotation for the moment. Reload. It's perfectly straight up and down when, in fact, in reality, the Earth is tilted on its axis. So let's, let's achieve that by using a group like that. And then we'll rotate the group. Um, rotate, rotation. Let's see, that's Z. Rotation Z equals uh, at that pi. Shoot. I think there's a, there's a three, hang on. Dot Matthew tells deg to rad. Yes. Negative 23. There you go. Be sure to check out my course, Learn 3JS Basics, available at a discount until the end of the year. Use the link in the description to get 20% off Exponent to ace your next technical interview. Let's improve the lighting by creating, um, hang on, let's format this. Let's create a directional light and its position will be X, Y, Z. And I want to define that const X comma Y comma Z is equal to sun direction. Let's define sun direction outside. It's like a global sun direction is equal to that. Now we've got a directional light with its position set to that. And let's kill that hemisphere light so we can really see it. And yeah, yeah, we can see it. I want to improve the sun direction. So my sun direction will be a new three dot vector three and give it these value. How's that look? Uh, let's reload. Yes, I don't know. Good. What to do now? Let's just add the atmosphere mesh first. Boom, like that. And let's import it. Bong. Hmm, the size isn't quite right, is it? Uh, let's have a look at the size. Da, da. Oh, look at this. Slightly larger than two. And then it has... I, I feel like... Radius. You know what I mean? Here. Radius equals default value 2.03. So if you don't pass it, you get that. But if you do pass it, 
pull this out, radius, and then define it right here, const radius is equal to whatever I want it to be, and say this is radius times 1.02, there's a u there, these need to be curly braces, there, how's that, that's much better, with my nice atmospheric mesh, the earth is rotating way too quickly, let's slow it down, a lot, oh that's better, it's going to look way better, once I add that new material. This is heavily influenced and inspired by Bruno Simon's shader lesson inside of his 3JS journey. He creates an earth shader, and that's, that's basically where I got this code from. I modified it a little bit. Um, let's just pull it out and see how it looks. So let's import the earth, I think it's called earth material, from earth material. Does that work? and then use that instead of this mesh standard material. And because my project is set up so that all the, oh, I don't need that map. All the, the textures are already when they need to be, it just works. Okay. That's it, that's the finished product. Look at that. Man, it's so easy to make. Real quick, I wanna show you how you can use a trail component from the React 3 Dre library to add a, a shooting star to the scene. Let's start by just adding a satellite to our Earth. And we'll call it satellite. And this is just going to return a mesh that has a sphere geometry. It's, let's just put it on the X axis offset by 2.5. Let's see how this looks, and let's just add this. Okay, there it is. Uh, let's move it closer so I can see it 2.05. Yeah. And make it smaller. Six times smaller. And let's make it red so we can see it. I meant to make it orange. I want this satellite to orbit the Earth. Const ref is equal to use ref. And we'll use frame. We've already imported it, so const radius is equal to 2.05. And we'll increment current time. Oh boy, can't read position and line 35. Oh, my bad, my bad. What I did here is to neglect to add the ref property to this guy, like so. Look, now let's add the trail. Trail, import it. Oh, look, it's got a trail. It's not looking that interesting. Let's affect the satellite's overall width to drop it down a little bit. And then we'll boost the trail's width a little bit. I don't know, I need some attenuation. Let's format this up. So I can read these properties a little more clearly. Let's just do it like this. Let's say so I could just return the value like that. That's better. Oh yeah, that's much better. I want it to be longer though. Can I make it a lot longer? Oh. Isn't that a nice trail component? I'm gonna speed it up a little bit by doubling the delta. Yeah. How cool is that? All right, to turn this into a comment, I'm just gonna use this comment component I already created. Or uh, let's call it shooting star. Shooting star. And let's use that instead of this satellite. Shooting star. Import shooting star from shooting star. And let's use that instead. And there we see it go by. Oh, that's so good. There you go. And that's how you add a shooting star. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. I wanna encourage you to try different variations, different texture maps, inverted earth color or whatever. You could overlay the country outlines, use GeoJSON. Also, you could blow the earth up. 
Thanks so much for coming by, and I'll see you in the next one.